mind blown. Seriously. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Now it is my favorite time of the month where we are going to be doing a video that is part of the Let's Try series. So we're going to be eating today, my most favorite thing to do in the world. And I have done another one of these videos before, which was tasting the Japanese snacks. But today it's going to be all about Germany and we're going to be tasting 12 German snacks that you can find anywhere in Germany. Now I did get a lot of these snacks from Raver Supermarket, R-E-W-E, -E, Raver Supermarket. I hope I got that pronunciation right. So once again, please don't shoot me down if I pronounce some of these products incorrectly because I'm not a native German speaker. But um, as usual, I'll try my best and you can all laugh at how I pronounce my German today. So let's start because I'm super hungry. I made sure I went to the gym this morning so that I'll continue to be burning off all these calories of this junk food that I'll be eating today. And as usual, I've got my handy bottle of water on the side so I can make sure that all the flavors are not mixing together. So it's, there you go, I've learned something from my first Let's Try video about the Japanese snacks. So let's start with number one. So the first one out of 12 is Ta-da! Haribo Staffetten. Staffetten? Staffetten, Staffetten, Haribo Staffetten. Now, Haribo is a really famous German brand of candy, so I had to get something Haribo. But I also got it because it looked really cute. And have a look at that cute little boy on the front carrying these little candies like a baton, like he's in a relay run. So. He's going to be relaying around all of these little pieces of candy and eating them too, I hope. I, I personally wouldn't pass on to the next person, I'll just eat that button, if it was this, and leave the race. <laughs> <laughs> so Haribo Stafetan is basically candy coated licorice sticks. Now, do you guys like licorice? Because I love licorice. Let's try it. Once again, I'm throwing everything on the floor. I'll clean it up later. Should I smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having flashbacks from the Japanese tasting video, but it smells just like candy. It smells really sweet. It smells like a cavity. But let's try the red one so I can go a bit hyper for this video. Yeah. Mm. So it is really candy on the outside. You can see a bit of the licorice in the middle. But they're yummy. Delish. I know you've been waiting for me to say that word, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, this is super yum. Like I said, I love licorice. I know that licorice is kind of like love-hate, but I love it. And it's really nice that it's covered in candy. Haribo Stafetin, that's a go, definitely. Next. Wait, I forgot to drink my water. I'm rushing. This water's so blue. This bottle's from Spain. Okay, washed. Okay, so next is... Choco Bananen Minis. That wasn't too hard to pronounce, I guess, but Choco Bananen, I love banana and I love chocolate. That's why I chose it. It looks pretty yum, don't you think? So let's try. It's basically mini chocolate covered bananas. So I don't think this will taste bad, so I'm smelling it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that smells delish. Have a look inside. Mini chocolate bananas. And the shape's even a banana too. Look how cute that is. Oh my god. Mind blown. I've always loved those candied bananas when I was a kid. This is what's inside the chocolate. It's those like marshmallowy type banana candy and it's covered in a delicious chocolate. I'm just enjoying it. Reliving my childhood right in my mind. I love it when they mix fruits and chocolate together. Choco banana minis, mini chocolate bananas, definitely a big fat yes, yeah? Yummo. Next, water again. Okay. Ooh, oh my god. 
Rita Sport, don't you just love Rita Sport? And I got two flavors, I'm gonna be such a pig today. But Rita Sport is really, really a popular German brand. You can buy them anywhere in the world. I got these two flavors because they were the two most popular flavors that I saw. The first one is Rita Sport Nusper Flakes. Nusper Flakes. Should I be pronouncing the K or is the K silent? I'm really big on pronunciation and I hate it when I pronounce something wrong. But basically this is corn flakes in milk chocolate. And the second one is the Ritter Sport Marzipan. Marzipan is a really popular cake in Germany and they have put it into this chocolate. So this is dark chocolate with marzipan filling. So I can't wait to try both of them. Mmm, I can just smell the chocolate. Super yum. So let's start with the first one. Cornflakes in milk chocolate. Who's never ever tried cornflakes? I doubt any of you have ever eaten this. You guys all know what cornflakes is. And if you don't eat it, if your parents eat it, it's always gonna be in the cupboard. You can't disagree with me. If I have nothing to eat, I know for a fact it's gonna be cornflakes in the cupboard because my parents have been eating it. So let's start with this. Let me just break it up before I open it so it's easier for me to try because I'm not going to be eating all of it, or will I? When you're not watching, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go, guys. That is a piece of the milk chocolate covered cornflakes. Uh, don't you think that's cool? Who thinks of these like flavors? But mm, yummy. Mmm, my god. Yummy. No wonder why everyone loves this. I always see people buying it everywhere, but that is heaven in one bite. If you love that crispy texture mixed with chocolate, yeah, get this. Now, let's try the marzipan one. Do you guys even know what marzipan is? Marzipan is almonds. And the marzipan in this Ritter Sport is from California. So I don't know why they don't make it in Germany where they could have imported it from California. Is that supposed to make it fancier? I don't know, is it? I like dark chocolate. You can see it's really dark on the inside. Mm, you can really smell that almonds. And... I broke a piece off and you can see that marzipan filling. So marzipan is basically ground almonds and sugar. So it's inside the dark chocolate. Mm. That tastes like a wedding cake. I'm sure you guys have been to a wedding or a birthday and they've got marzipan like wrapped around as the icing on a cake. That's what it tastes like. And it's inside chocolate. So that's a win-win situation. Ritter Sport, definitely another big fat yes. Delish, yummo. <laughs> Next. Okay, and I've got chocolate on my legs. Got chocolate everywhere. I'm gonna take a shower after this. Disgusting. Okay, so that was the first three. Number four is Cabanos. Now, you can't go to Germany without getting something of a salami. So I got two. One's um, a spicy pork salami, and this is a turkey salami. So let's just try a bit of each, I guess, right? It's really big in their culture to be having like little pieces of salami and just eating it on the go. That's why I got this. Um, I love salami too. So this is the first one, spicy. What's that on the end? <laughs> Should I eat it? Do you dare me? A bit on the end. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, I love salami. Yum. I don't want to have to finish this whole thing. It's too much. I do have 12 things to eat today. Let's go to the next one, turkey. The one that I just had now. Um, it says hot, but I honestly couldn't really taste it being really hot. I do have a really high spice threshold, I guess. So it wasn't as hot as I thought it would be, but there's the turkey one. It doesn't smell like turkey, it smells like salami. There you go. If you don't eat pork, this is a really good alternative. I love these like jerkies and dried meats and stuff, but that's good too. Amaze. So thumbs up to the Cabanos. Let's go to the next one. The next one 
is a very tried and tested German snack or German brand, which is Kinder. Surprise! No, it's not a surprise. These are Kinder Schokobuns. Or not buns. Kinder Schokobuns, which are mini chocolate bites with hazelnut filling. I'm sure all of you have tried Kinder Surprise. But someone told me that you can't get Kinder Surprise in the US, is that true? If it is, I really feel sorry for you guys. Who hasn't grown up having one of those Kinder Surprise eggs? We've all pestered our mum and dad to buy it for us at the shops. They always have to strategically put it right at the checkout so that kids will be bugging their parents that oh, I want a Kinder Surprise. And I remember we used to collect them and make them, bring them to school and pair it with my friends. But since we're adults now, well, I hope I am. <laughs> they do have mini ones now, so that's really cute. They're just mini chocolate bites and they're filled with that all that white interior of that egg. Let's try it. Yum. Mmm. Childhood memories. I remember eating like three of them at once because I wanted to make those little games. Go on those Kinder Choco Bonds. Next. Okay, next is Hanuta Minis. Now these are super famous for being German. I can't wait to eat it. So Hanuta Minis are made by the Ferrero company which is well known for their Ferrero shares. Yeah, these are basically hazelnut sandwiches, but mini versions, so let's go and try it. I can't wait. I love these. And look at how cute they are. It's like mini bites. I knew the minis are hazelnut sandwiches. Yum. <gasps> okay, so, so cute. I really want to have it in one bite, but since this is recorded, maybe I should like be a bit more professional and take a little bite, like... Yum! I don't want to eat and talk at the same time, and I don't want to be rude again. <sighs> If you love chocolate with hazelnut, if you love Nutella inside that little wafer, yum, yum, yum. Yes, yes, yes. So that was definitely a big yes for the Hanuta Minis and that was the sixth one. So we're halfway through our list. Next. Okay, so these are knoppers. What should I say knoppers? Am I supposed to be pronouncing the K or not, or is it silent? I need to know. I wish I had more German friends. German people, hit me up. Tell me if I'm pronouncing things wrong. Teach me German, please. So, knoppers. I got this because it's a new type of knopper, which is the Nussriegel or Nussriegel. I'm going to say Nussriegel. So, let's open one of them because this comes in a pack of five. I couldn't get them separately. So, let's see. Okay, here's a close-up of the bar. So basically, a Nopper Mousse Regal, it's got layers of bits of hazelnut, caramel, of course, milk chocolate. It's got that wafer that was from the Hanuta, and it's all covered in milk chocolate. So it's kind of like a bar version of what we just had with the Hanuta Minis. So I was curious to try it. Let's try it. Mm. That's so good. Seriously, I love it. It's almost like Mars slash Snickers, but like a German version of Slick Snickers, Slickers, Snickers slash Mars. That is totally delish. Try that Knoppers or Knoppers. Let's have a vote. Should I say it Knoppers or Knoppers? Not Knockers. <laughs> noppers or knoppers? Number seven, noppers. I'm gonna say noppers for now. Definitely a big yes. Okay, back to something savory, which is ta da! Crunch pork chips, paprika flavor. Now, they love their paprika flavor in Germany. You can see paprika flavored everything there, that's why I got this one. And they love pork products as well in Germany too. As you can see, I tried the salami earlier, so I thought I'd get this. It's a pretty new product, so let's try it. Whoa. 
not sure about the like paprika. Okay, if you guys don't know what paprika is, it's basically capsicum or bell pepper that is kind of on these chips, pork chips. There's one. It looks like those, you know, shrimp crackers before you fry them. That's what it looks like. And that's what it tastes like too. It tastes like those pre-cooked shrimp crackers. You know when you fry them and then they become the shrimp crackers? That's what they look like. And that's what they taste like. No, I think I'm gonna give this to my neighbor. <laughs> I'm not really into these things, but you could like it. But for me, I think I'm gonna pass on this. So that's the first thing that didn't pass. And we were on a roll. We passed the first seven things, and this was the eighth thing, and it didn't pass. But next, I guess. Okay, back to Haribo. Of course, Haribo, German, they go hand in hand. And this is a really popular product, it's the Haribo Gold Barren. These are Haribo mini gold bears. Gummy bears. You want to call them anything different. But they come pre-packed in these mini things which is good to hand out to kids. I think that's really cute. Now who doesn't love gummies? I love them. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> Does it even look like a bear? Okay. Be honest guys. Da, da, da. <laughs> it fell out of my hand. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's try the green one. Which way up is he? That way or this way? Anyway. Yum. Just like your normal gummies. And Haribo is really famous because of its flavor. That flavor just like explodes in your mouth. And I had a lime one. I can taste straight away that it's a lime one and you don't need to be guessing what flavor it is. That's what makes Haribo really popular everywhere in the world because it's packed full of flavor in that one tiny little bear. So, love. Mm. Next. Okay, back to something salty. <laughs> no, this is Lauren's Chips Latin. Okay, okay. It's a local version of Pringles. Okay, that's why I got it. Because I love Pringles, I love how it's handy in this container. And I was considering that I'm going to be travelling back and I didn't want to get all the chips smashed, that's why I got in this container. But as you can see again, it's paprika flavour. It's got capsicum and bell pepper picture all over it, so let's try it. <laughs> that is not good to take a whiff of that once you open it. I've got bell peppers up my nose right now. I hope I don't sneeze. Let's try it out. Perfect. It didn't get crunched in the travel. Hmm. I don't know guys. I think I've realized I'm not a big fan of the paprika flavor. I know it's really, really huge and popular in Germany, but it just doesn't sit well with me. Same with that pork chips that we had that was paprika flavor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the chips and I love how it's like Pringles inspired, but it's just the paprika flavor. Maybe if it was another flavor, I'd get it. But as I mentioned, I got the paprika flavor because it's really popular in Germany but I think I'll pass on this one. So, neighbor, you're getting another thing. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Okay, so the next one is something really interesting. It's Biffy Currywurst. Now, Biffy is really popular for their salamis and dried foods, and this is a new product. I haven't really tried like curry flavored sausage or salami, so I thought I wanted to try this and give this a go. So, let's try it. It smells like a spoonful of curry powder. That looks cute. It's like a roll. Should I rip it open or bite into it? On the inside. So it's basically bread with salami and there is a curry paste of some sort. So. Guys, 
looks can be deceiving. Don't judge a book by its cover, as they say. So when I first looked at it, it looked a bit like but it's actually yum. Yeah, like the curry is not overpowering. It's a very mild curry flavor, which is really good. And they suggest that you can just have it on the go in between meals, just to get you going until your main meal later on. But yeah, that's definitely a go. I like that one, but I can't finish it. I've eaten so much right now. But let's go on to the last product. Okay, so the last one is this. I'm saying this because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Ernest Locken? Ernest Locken? I don't know. This is apparently really, really popular in Germany and I wanted to make sure I got it because I am trying German snacks for you so I got the most popular German snacks I could find. So this is basically peanut curls. So let's go. Okay. Oh my god. It smells like a jar of peanut butter. You know when you first open a jar of peanut butter? Yum! Mmm, yummy! Yum! That's really good. It's not sweet at all. It's like a sugar-free peanut butter. And you've seen these amazing curls, so that is yum. Win. Yum. <laughs> okay, so there you have it guys. I just tried 12 amazing, well, let's make it 10. 10 amazing German snacks out of 12. I hope you like this video. I love making these videos for you and I hope you like this new series I've created, the Let's Try series. So this is the second one I did, Let's Try German Snack. And I'll be making about three, four more over the next few weeks. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've tried any of these snacks and tell me what you thought of them in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching my videos. Do keep on supporting me. Click subscribe so you'll be completely updated on my latest videos. I do release one video every two weeks. Also my Facebook page and website is tomsolfester.com and if you head over to Instagram, my Instagram is tomsolfesta so you'll be able to get more of a behind the scenes look on how I create my vlog. So once again, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and have an amazing day.